Hi friends, uh, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. In this video, I'm going to talk about SAP BTP. You would be hearing this word in many places. Okay. So this is not from our supply chain management or functional area, but uh, according to that requirement or uh, where we are hearing many things. So I'm trying to collect some information from different sources, especially SAP official sources and all. I'm going to share you a few inputs about SAP B2P. I'm not going to share any screen or uh, about technology and all those stuff. Okay, because uh, like I mentioned that it is uh, having more into the ABAP people can mostly focus on that. If I see the articles and all, it says that the coding is less coding or no coding kind of a word I can hear about SAP B2P. But let's talk about uh, what exactly the source uh, I got and uh, what we are going to talk about uh, SAP BTP. And it will be a quick session. And uh, like I mentioned that I'm going to talk about any SAP new technologies or information. So where we don't have to share the screens or where we don't have to run SPRO and run the scenarios, how we do for other videos. So I'm planning for that. And uh, this is also a good thing for me to enhance my reading skills and um, talking on specific topic uh, continuously and wherever I can add some additional explanation based on my experience or based on my uh, knowledge in that area, definitely I will add, not just reading. So let's uh, begin about this topic and uh, let's read a content, how we can uh, read it. And even I'm also improve improving my reading skills. So it's part of like, uh, it's part of learning and every day we have to learn new things. And I'm interested in this uh, communication skills or uh, enhancing my presentation skills or uh, reading skills or way of explanation. So it, it looks good for certain times and uh, certain times I feel that there are a lot of improvement is needed. So it's a part of, uh, it's years of uh, experience, but uh, still daily we need to improve a lot if you compare with the different, different, uh, the great authors are great uh, public speakers. When you are uh, listening to those kind of speeches, it will always motivate and inspire to us. Let's talk about, about uh, today's point, uh, SAP BTP, Business Technology Platform. It's a technology platform that brings together data and analytics, artificial intelligence, application development, automation, and integration in one unified environment if you see the sap official website about any demo or any kind of videos about sap btp you can definitely find it so there are uh, multiple things i hear about that it will help to accelerate cross-functional innovation to unlock business potential who has to learn SAP BTP? I believe that anyone uh, can start learning and understanding about SAP BTP. But according to the coding and certain kind of technology related things, I think we hear that uh, ABAP people can adopt easily compared to functional. It's a debate and we have to understand a lot. So like I mentioned that it will be uh, using to accelerating the digital innovation across business functions required foresight and ability to navigate dynamic market conditions. Enterprises must unlock processes and data in their applications and enable users to personalize their work in context. In addition, having the right content available to customize cloud applications is a must. These elements are uh, critical to evolve operating models. So SAP Business Technology Platform is an innovation platform optimized for SAP applications in the cloud. So it brings together application development and automation data and analytics integration and artificial intelligence capital. So whatever we are hearing that one, so integration and AI capabilities in one unified environment. That's what I mentioned that uh, the latest technologies and uh, AI capabilities, everything is going to be uh, used in this SAP BTP. So it can help to create personalized experiences across business processes, build applications, analytics, and integrations faster. And run mission critical innovation confidently on major cloud providers infrastructure fully managed by SAP. So developers have the, what they need to quickly connect, extend, and enrich mission 
and critical business processes. So business users can automate tasks, create fast, flexible workflows, and personalized interfaces, all using low-code principles and solutions. So SAP BTP main target is to reduce the coding. It means what are the standard solution, what SAP BTP is providing, many companies can adopt and with a little coding, not like uh, five days, eight days, 10 days of uh, any program. If you want to just to want to develop a report, we are spending six days uh, ABAP or five days ABAP or four days functional to write function specification. So according to my understanding about SAP BTP, so it is going to reduce those man days and those efforts. So it's always mentioning that to create personalized experiences. Uh, so based on the business requirement, that uh, the personalized experiences is going to be one of the uh, best things in SAP BTP. So already we can hear that uh, good feedback about the customers who are already started using SAP BTP. It helps to build faster with business context to meet change with agility. So the Agile, whatever method we are, everyone is talking about the new things. So the SAP B2P is going to provide you that agility to do your change management. So mainly with the SAP B2P, you can jumpstart new projects by relying on proven best practices and low code solutions to provide a full understanding of SAP data so that uh, you can minimize data preparation and data movement. Like I mentioned in an earlier podcast that uh, about um, Grow with SAP. So Grow with SAP is coming with public cloud and SAP BTP because SAP BTP is targeting to have minimized, like minimal coding and uh, most of the best practices need to be adopted by the companies. So these business assets are created and maintained by SAP and ecosystem partners, helping ensure that your innovations work today and with new software releases to increase the innovation, agility, and efficiency. So mainly they're uh, focusing on any new technologies, AI is coming, chart GPT, or any kind of any new things are coming in the new versions of AI still to adopt that uh, innovations in their other technologies which are collaborating. And SAP B2P is going to uh, handle those things. SAP B2P helps professional developers and LOB technologies, LOB means the line of business, alike innovate faster with the right combination of traditional tools, no code or low code solutions, and pre-built analytical models and self-service analytics. So mainly SAP B2P is targeting to the customers, the new customers or existing customers, when it comes itself, it will come with the predefined templates, predefined uh, reports, and uh, most of the best practices, what companies are using already, they are providing the solution which is matching to the SAP or general uh, best practices so that uh, the changes are minimal. When the changes are, the gap is less. So when you're doing the gap analysis, the fit gap analysis, if the changes or gaps are less, then the coding also will be less. No coding or less coding is a motor to proceed or to provide the best solutions to the customers. So it helps to run with confidence on trusted enterprise grade platform. And mainly SAP BTP allows you to innovate the cloud without interfering with your core applications, helping you understand your SAP software landscape. You gain the right environment to move existing customizations to the cloud and develop new ones. Simplifying maintenance and improving the reliability of your applications all within a well-governed and secure environment. So it will take care about your data governance and existing customizations can be smoothly transformed. There will be challenges when you talk about a statement, it can be smoothly trans uh, transformed from the uh, your current system to that uh, the cloud uh, ERP where you're going, cloud, uh, either it can be a public cloud. Okay, so, but there will be challenges according to the customizations or uh, certain kind of customizations cannot be copied. We need to make certain changes. So we also know that in s Material Master, uh, the character 18 is changed to 40 
and there are certain changes in the tables so everything will be uh, when you're doing that and certain little challenges can come okay here and there and based on that uh, you need to take respect to action okay and uh, there are uh, benefits from a thriving partner ecosystem like sap partners share our strong commitment to sap b2p to ensure your success with sap b2p partners can align with your strategy technology data and processes simplifying your digital transformation speeding innovation and improving business agility SAP partners apply their unique application, domain, and industry expertise along with SAP BTP to deliver new applications, integrations, and uh, continues uh, that uh, this results uh, in more personalized solution experiences, improved business context, and faster time to market. Powered by an enterprise grade platform, so you can run with confidence. So B SAP B2P is uh, going to give secure your success with you, with your solutions, what you're expecting and with uh, designed project timeline. So let's hope SAP B2P is going to make a lot of changes in uh, uh, new SAP implementations and it is going to acquire a lot of new customers. And uh, whoever wanted to learn SAP B2P, you can explore an SAP official website. There is a less coding or no coding is there, but I believe that ABAP people can adopt easily and any functionals uh, who have uh, interest to have some technical knowledge, definitely you can go for SAP BTP. Okay. So finally, I can read that uh, objective solution and benefits before closing this session. So what are the main objectives of SAP B2P like accelerate innovation on a modern cloud-based technology platform? Mainly it is focusing on the cloud. Digitalize the unique ways in which your company operates. Integrate, extend, and enrich business processes. Empower your people to innovate with governance. Grow innovation agility without slowing down ongoing business operations. That's the main objective of SAP BTP and the solution wise a unified technology platform optimized for SAP applications, low code and pro code application development, data and analytics integration, automation and AI. Extended planning and uh, analysis connecting people and plans. Intuitive development environment for both IT and citizen developers. Self-service, govern, data, discovery, modeling, planning, and analytics. Pre-built business content for line of business and industry use cases. Comprehensive integrations to connect SAP and hundreds of non-SAP applications. Already the client is using different kind of non-SAP applications where they are connecting. So SAP BTP can help you to connect to those systems. Availability in major public clouds. What are the benefits? So accelerate innovation in a governed and secure environment to withstand changing market conditions. Deliver innovation that works with your business processes. Rely on modern technology and proven best practices. Leverage SAP and third-party data effectively. Run confidently in the cloud with peace of mind. So B2P is going to handle the cloud ERP. You can see that ecosystem solutions, A powered business solutions, it will handle that uh, human capital management, spend management and business network. Spend management and business network mostly comes under our uh, procurement, everything come under that. And CRM, customer relationship management, industry specific and sustainable, any industry specific solutions also, it will give that one. So this is about SAP BTP and introduction. Okay, uh, you can go to SAP official website to know about SAP BTP and you can check the any demo or video. If you're really interested to learn, you can learn it. I believe that SAP BTP consultants, we are going to see many in the coming one to two years who are going to 
uh, have a good opportunities in the market. You can see the strategies. It is going to utilize that uh, A and A with SAP. Everywhere this SAP B2P is going to play the role. I collected certain information from SAP official website and credits to SAP official. And uh, whatever I spoke today and whatever information I shared, everything, it's a trademark of uh, SAP and uh, we, we are just gaining the information. And as an SAP consultant in uh, 11 years, 11.5 years as a responsible and uh, as a YouTuber, I wanted to share information about any new technologies. And I started these kind of a podcast to share information because this is not something uh, we can make it and uh, we can uh, practice, we can show it and all. It's an information which will be helpful for the people to understand what is SAP BTP, who can learn SAP BTP and uh, what kind of things are going to happen. So it is more into the technical one. So it's not something uh, easily like uh, I can recommend that SAP MM consultants, Learn EWM or S4 HANA procurement or uh, Ariba. Like that SAP BTP for any freshers who can learn SAP B2P college out uh, computer students and all, and who are already working in ABAP, they can uh, adopt the SAP B2P into their profile to add value and to adopt the latest uh, job market, which is going to come in the cloud. Uh, SAP B2P is going to have a better future to all of you. And uh, you can recommend your friends or juniors or college out, fourth year, third year, engineering or anyone studying that uh, technology computer related graduation or post graduation. Please ask them to learn SAP B2P and a ABAP B2P or SAP Fiery B2P. So good luck to all of you. Uh, and uh, I hope we, this video, when you watch after one year or two years, uh, if someone has uh, got an idea to learn SAP B2P and they're uh, doing good in the 2025 or 26. So you can see this video and uh, definitely you can provide your experience in the future. And also, uh, if you gain certain information and if you want more details, go to SAP official website. Please try to take care mostly SAP official website for these kind of latest technologies and information so that they will share you the, uh, the real information. And if there is any update, they will update you on that, the new version. Good luck to all of you. Thanks for your uh, valuable time to listen and if you have any improvements about this new kind of uh, podcast to share information about the latest SAP technologies and in the future, I may add any other technologies also. But for now, let's use the word SAP because we have 47,300 subscribers who came for SAP. So our focus mostly on SAP. If something is useful like uh, MS Office, MS Excel or presentations, last week I shared about certain presentation things and we have a lot of Excel tips for SAP consultants. All are made with real time. So if you go for any Excel uh, YouTube channel or Excel course, you will see hundreds of tips. I didn't make all those things. I made around 18 to 20 uh, videos uh, which are purely helpful for SAP consultants. If you have not yet watched, please go to our channel and enter SAP consultant Excel or else Excel knowledge for SAP consultant by Ganesh Padala. You can find those videos. Please learn and practice. Happy learning. See you in next podcast. Thank you.